wash it away if I could see the flowing water night time looks like family photos nothing of use to me in there Ooh, I could really use a bit of that even 20 pounds I'm stone broke but it's the magician's creed never take cash or other valuables I just can't There are no maps or bus schedules lying around. Not even an address. That computer is ancient. It might as well be an abacus. I take it the patients have to wait a long time around here. Adds a nice fresh from the field vibe to dinner. Odd place for hysteria. Maybe it calms down the patients at mealtime. There are a lot of CDs in here, but no maps or addresses. could feed the House of Representatives at this table. Some people have this kind of money. Then there are the rest of us. That velvet's a bit worn. Bet those chairs have been in this house a long time. a boat, kind of symbolic of a relationship, except if it were one of my relationships, we'd be adrift in a storm in the middle of the ocean. L plus D, live and die? Laurel and darty? These watercolors are good, but I'd say homegrown. Someone in the family must be an artist. These watercolors are good. China and silver, fancy. I can see the long drive I came up last night. The road is still there, that's a good thing. I think I noticed a plaque yesterday. I should have a look. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? And this seemed like such a good idea last night. I guess there's not much of a business in cognitive abnormality these days. This place is practically deserted. I guess there's not much of a business in cognitive abnormality these days. Cool house. A bit creepy, but I kind of like that. I need to find a map or something. I have no idea where the nearest bus stop is.
I love all this old gothic stuff around here. Neat house. I stuck my bike in there last night. I'll probably ditch it. It will cost too much to fix it, and it's a piece of junk anyway. I could make a run for it in the car but I'd probably be busted before I'd gone 20 miles. These look old and a bit moldy. Damn it! I'll have to leave it and find a bus or train to London. I spent the last of my cash on that piece of crap. It's no use. It's really, most sincerely, dead. I've got eggs, porridge, toast and ham. Be ashamed to let it go cold. No shit? I mean, thanks. God, I'm starving. I guess if they aren't onto me by now, another half an hour won't hurt. Head, dear. Don't be shy about it. Mm, it smells amazing. I didn't know how you took your eggs, so I made them the way I like them. But I can do them however you like starting tomorrow. I'm not picky. Ta. One way's easy as another. People need a good breakfast, I always say. Oh my god. These are the best eggs I've ever tasted. <laughs> well now, himself does like them fresh. We've got a farmer drops them off every few days. Bit peckish, are you? What do they feed you over there at Oxford? Oxford? Um, the usual. And I never saw anyone in my life as cold, wet and tired as you last night. Hope you didn't walk all that way. There's a bus stop just down the road, no more than 20 yards. Takes you right to Oxford Centre. Wow. Still going on about them eggs, are you? No, I just... Can't believe my luck lately. Well, before you go off, himself left instructions for you on the door to the basement. Himself? Oh, <laughs> I mean Dr. Stiles, of course. He's working down in the lab this morning and doesn't want to be disturbed. Now, I know you must have a question or two. Don't be shy about asking, Samantha. It's Sam, but funny. I don't remember telling you my name last night. There was a tag on your backpack when I washed your clothes. You really should update it to your Oxford address, dear. Wouldn't do having someone ship it back to the States if you lost it, now would it? <laughs> oh, and I'm Mrs Dalton. I did tell you, but I suspect you were half asleep at the time. Who all lives here? Lord, it must seem a big old empty place to you. Sometimes I forget. It's only himself and me. Just two people? In this huge old house? He can't abide company. Look, he can be difficult. 
I'll never say otherwise. But no matter what you've heard over there at that university, don't believe it. All I ask is that you make up your own mind. If you can do that and not be faint of heart, you'll be all right. OK. But whatever you do, don't mention the accident. I saw a plaque by the door. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? What does that mean, exactly? The center was Dr. Stiles' idea. He started it with his friend, Dr. Hellborn. How excited they were. It was busy, too. Or starting to be. Then something happened and... Well, he closed it. But what does that mean? Cognitive abnormality. Didn't that school tell you anything? Dr. Stiles worked with patients who had strokes or brain injuries and the like. Always said those kinds of cases helped him understand the workings of the brain better than looking at a healthy one. He's retired now? Well, you could say that. Hasn't seen patients in years. How far are we from London? London? Ooh, hour and a half, I'd say. Car or train will run you about the same. Of course, you'd never catch me driving in London. Oh, not for a million pounds. That's not bad. Far enough away to be grateful, not so far as to be sorry. <laughs> or so the locals say. You know, before I came to Oxford, I would have never imagined there was so much uninhabited countryside so nearby. Oh, there's plenty of country around here. And thank heavens for it. <laughs> How long does the bus take to get into Oxford Centre? 30 minutes, like. Makes a lot of stops on the way. By the by, what college are you in? Did the Student Employment Office say it was St Edmund Hall? Or am I thinking of something else? Mm, it is St Edmund Hall. Nice college from what I've heard. Hmm. So... What exactly does Dr. Stiles' assistant do around here? I mean, as you see it. Never had one before. I'm sure they told you at the student employment office. It's mainly paperwork he wants done. Files sorted, computer work, things of that sort. You should have plenty of time to keep up with your studies. I told him there's no use sending over a medical student. He'd never let you touch his actual work. <laughs> I take it you're not in the sciences. Was it the tattoos that gave me away? No offence, dear. <laughs> what is it that you study? Um, English Lit. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? Now, I wanted to ask, will you be wanting the room or will you be staying at the university? The room? The room you were in last night. It's yours whenever you want it. It's empty otherwise, isn't it? Tempting. Meals too. If you're late, I'll leave you dinner in the fridge. Sure a girl like you knows how to use a microwave? <laughs> sure. I know they told me this at university, but I'm not sure I remember it correctly. Besides the room and board, the position pays... Well, I never. <laughs> Catch a fever last night, did you? <laughs> I'd have thought that would be the first thing on a student's mind. Sure. But I was looking at a whole list of available jobs, and I'm afraid I might be confusing them. Fifty pounds. Right. That's what I thought. Thanks. I noticed the painting on the stairway. Beautiful girl. Is that Dr. Stiles' daughter? If you want to get along in this house, that's the sort of thing you don't ask. Ever. Right. Sorry. She seems nice enough. You never can tell. It looks a bit gloomy out there. That calendar is out of date. It's a card for a psychologist. Now that's a phone number I'd have handy. You never know when you'll go stark raving mad. <laughs> 